Welcome back. Today's show is all about critical race theory and the impact of the current debate. Now we go to Russ Mitchell. He sat down with John Stover, protecting Ohio children, and Hassan Jeffries, associate professor of history at The Ohio State University. And here's part of their conversation. First of all, I want to thank you both for being with us today. Uh, quite an important subject. So my first question, I guess, would be uh, to you, Mr. Stover. What is your definition of critical race theory? Well, a definition of critical race, as far as I and our organization is concerned, Russ, has to do with what is we see being taught uh, primarily in the public schools now, and it's a very divisional term where you have um, those that are white being told that in many cases they should be considered the oppressor. They were born with white privilege. And uh, when you look at uh, those that are black or brown uh, colored, uh, they are considered to be the oppressed. Dr. Jeffries, let me ask you, what is your definition of critical race theory? Critical race theory is a, a framework that emanates out of law schools, uh, a way of seeing and understanding America's past and America's present. It is simply saying that you have to take race and racism seriously uh, as factors and forces in shaping the contours of the lives of all American people and consider the ways in which it intersects with other identities, with people's gender identity, with sex and the like. Mr. Stover, should, uh, do you think that kids should be told the perspective of the impact of race in America? I, I do disagree with uh, Dr. Jeffries on the fact that uh, it's not being taught. It is being taught. And uh, you even have had the uh, National Education Association head basically say, look, We'll defend any teacher that uh, decides that they're going to uh, teach it. We have, we have had, I believe it's five to six states in this country that have already passed legislation. In the state of Ohio, we have uh, House Bill 327 that uh, is currently in committee. And I'm sure it's going to be discussed by the uh, General Assembly whenever they return here next month. We see that these bills that are in the General Assembly that are working their way uh, are, are, are bills uh, that are in search of a problem. Uh, we also understand that this furor, this hysteria around critical race theory is really a response uh, to the grassroots mobilization by millions of people in the summer of 2020 uh, as th who took to the streets uh, calling for justice not only for the victims of police violence, but also for an end to systemic racism, for the ways in which systems and structures in our society continue to perpetuate inequality on the basis of race. And so when the State Board of Education uh, passed uh, a resolution, a very strong resolution, that doesn't mention critical race theory, but says that we owe our students, uh, a, we have a responsibility to our students to tell them the truth about the past and to make sure that we are not continuing to perpetuate inequality. Where do you see common ground? I think you know, we may disagree uh, on what needs to be taught and how early, uh, but I would like to think uh, that we're all concerned about children. We're all concerned about uh, this country uh, and because we're leaving it to them. I mean, the children inherit uh, the future. They inherit this country. Uh, my concern uh, is that we're not preparing them adequately uh, to deal with the problems that we haven't solved ourselves unless we talk honestly, not late in the game, but even early in the game, uh, so that they are adequately prepared. I guess the, the, the real question, um, Russ and Dr. Jeffries, comes down to this, in my mind. Who ultimately has the right to see that their children are educated and what they are taught? And uh, if we believe that it's the, the state, which I do not, or the federal government, as far as the programs that they put in place, but I believe it's the parents. And I, I believe the parents, based upon their value that they have want to see ascribed into their children, they ultimately have that right. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank really you. Appreciate Thank it. you.